about Bloodseeker. He is not the passive farmer. He is not an anti-mage. Can be so close to the sports spawning again. That's enough. Double damage though. LSA connects. Follow up next for a fraction. Is it enough? It doesn't look like it. The Dragon Slave. Whoa! A little close for comfort. That was TP. Stinking mid. Tim's though. He's invisible. They've got a sentry and look at Pinkman check. He's just playing like he doesn't know. Except then they saw it with their sentry so they knew he knew. And then Slardar tried to get out, but the trap was already set, Trent. He knew. It went full meta. The knowledge of great value stats. Very good. Huge return potential. Now Joe B breaks the smoke. This is the dream for Entity outside of dodging it all together. Noya gets stunned. He won't be able to save his Warlock time. And now, I think he's going to end up just giving it away. A nice stun on three, but he is amplified damage, a.k.a. corrosive haze. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Bloodseeker stuck well, The arrow actually hit Arm from L. downtown on the line. That's the Joe's just thinking about it. He wants to go in. Done from Cuckoo. Noya with some follow-up. Bloodright comes out. A lot of damage from Hingman check on the back line. Lena getting low. Sam H gets brought down. Slardar getting clicked pretty hard by the Marana. Tims does find the stun, but Armel will knock it out in the trees. And on the other side, Slardar. That's the Joe. Might be able to find this with the wand. He's going for the leap. He's got him. Very nice. TA trap to help give vision. And then Can they not find this. They not shapeshift. They have shapeshift. They have yep. Alina. This is in a really weird spot right now. He's not have a blink dagger. He's scouted out. Oh my. Noya sets up an easy arrow. Black with the follow up. Uh, silence. Now Sam H. Here's the primal roar. Has the Joe getting low perhaps. The warlock drops a rock. Noya with a start on the back line. Tims and Armel get obliterated as Cuckoo falls on the back side. They get a kill on to Joe Keys. He is now Raven, stuck in the trees, surrounded by enemies. We'll try to go below some blow, but he is not going to win that battle. It's a full five man white, 14 to 6. Now the lead for Cup. Still, Roach has a little bit of AP. Blood right. Wolf on the way. It goes down. The check does grab the Aegis. There's the Warlock goal. It connects on two. Gives the piece of stun. Finger does finish off Hesta Joe, but Kuku dies for it. Buyback now from Hesta Joe. What? Dust Run used it. as Sam H. Getting low on the backside. Kingman check. Still alive. Still with the Aegis. Does not look good for TNC. Armel does have a double damage up on the high ground. They go Noya for Tim's. Arrow launches. Just go for the arrow. Get that gold. Always oh, gonna get it. We're all in here. Going after Black. Didn't get the blade mail or the BKB off in time. Yeah. He did. He does BKB. But now off. Joe Beasy falls. Oh no, entity. They lose two, and it's two big ones. Like that, the radiant are ripped wide open. I do not believe they will be able to test this one with the corrosive haze. Roche falls. No I want this to come in. Like, this is that experience in that situation. This is where Tim knows what's up. He connects with the stun on Noya, brings it down, but Pingman check in the back line. Kills Sam H. Now will not win this war against the Lena. Goes back in, tries to get off the bell. But there's a Necro, not really BKB. They really have to use it as much as maybe they planned. But he's now number two on net worth overall, and he's closing that gap. Big initiation from Tim. Armel with a follow-up stun on two. It looks picture perfect, but Pink is back with a lot of damage onto Armel. They will lose Tim to one for two. The Warlock ult comes down, but they lose TA. Now Black taking too much damage. It's TNC. He can't work the same if he doesn't live in the U.S. because well, he mean, works in television. That's possible. But. And now I probably just hate Santa. Black is going to die in the exact <laughs> same spot the game up broke the previous time. Oh, Poor no. Entity. Wait, this time they might leave him alive? No. They in fact do secure kill. I like kill. how he still doesn't even pop the plate. See. And from the Radiant, has the Joe now on oh, the defensive. The, the Wolf, dude. It's right on Joe BC. Oh, no. They see him. And now the primal roar as he jumps on Noya. The follow-up from Armel. Hence the Joe just watches his friend die. Immune to magic, but unable to do anything on the other side. Black gets finished off. I missed it, and I'm so sorry. Now Joe Beasy drops the Warlock ult. It's on three, but he gets fingered immediately. Hence Joe jumps in, gets killed. GG's called it. TNC have done it, Trent. Game number one. It will go their way. A great turnaround. They were behind. Look at that crack. They turned it back into their...
gauntlet. It has to be pretty perfect. Yeah, so... It has to be like helm kill. I don't know. I uh, The Huskar cheese continues, man. I like it. Yeah. There's some... I'll be playing it in this one. It'll be over to uh, Joe Beasy, but you can just kind of throw out some arrows without a, a whole lot of punch. Has to Joe down bottom. He's going to get punished. Or will he? Noyo with a nice stun. Breaks it up. Sam H comes around the backside. Has to Joe. Mans up and gives him the left, right. One, two. Mike Tyson knocks him down. And they're going to get more. Tim's also left behind. Two much amplification. Yeah, and they don't have uh, any real, like, physical damage amp. The levels are just top-heavy on Radiant in general. Underleveled uh, supports and overleveled cores. And with that Blightstone and the Vengeance Orb, once that skill, that's going to look really good. But Armel, oh, again, no ulti my. in time. Oh, he got it! Whoa! Oh, oh, right click. oh, and suddenly. Now, now the ulti's just wasted. <laughs> what a roller coaster of emotions as Hesta Joe, he gots to go. He's locked down. He's surviving. He drops the Primal Roar. Now Windranger's the one in trouble. The follow-up stuns are there and two are down on the side of TNC. Maybe even more. Tim's, he's brave. He's bold and he is dead. Now Raven runs into the prey. He tries the man up on the Huskar. Raven! He gets the kill, but still, it's going to cost him everything. Sam H wants the cleanup. He's got some creeps, but Arrow from the back line. It's Black, ready to rock and roll. And Noya comes back in for some extra damage. Hester Joe tries to clear out these creeps and all. They're not pushing the bottom lane. They understand they want to fight. So they send Hester Joe with the hawk in first. Oh, no latch on the shackle. They get off a decent moonlight shadow. Immediately, sentries come down. Pingvin check. Close range life break. Gets himself kind of low. He might end up regretting that. Big damage from the Marana though. Tim's getting low as Armel jumps in. Pingvin check goes down. Joe, Joe Beasy. Beasy with a big ultimate, but creeps bringing him low for a power shot to finish him off. A two for two. Primal Roar held by Hesta Joe and sets it up for Cuckoo to likely get brought down. Does still get off the uh, wind run and might ensure his survival. Has to join the tree lines. They've got the vision advantage though. Beautiful axes. Black reinitiates. Buyback on the wind ranger now. That'll be the Aegis. Like it. Joe. Coming back to life. Shackle latches. Has to Joe getting low. The Vanguard. But they can't quite get him. He finally goes down. Cuckoo had to go pretty deep for it. Can Noya turn this around? He's got the punches. Does not have the stun. No more mana but Black. He says hello. Let's park. He brings her down, and out comes the stun to clean it up. Crash and burn. This game looks like crazy, and it's one of those games where like, oh, Hotscar just got wildly out of control because they had no lane matchup. But TC put in a great offer in the mid lane, and you know, maybe Armel. Armel. I think he's okay. Question is... Dust. Hesta Joe goes down. Primal Roar does do a hell of a lot. Now swap back on the Noya. It's going to be two. It looks like Joe Beasy with a big ultimate, but interrupted. Tim's now on his way back. He is going to burn to death for dead for Entity. So sweet. Who's likely to be the victor? And uh, some similar I, uh, smokes oh, here. I do believe in the Crimson Guard. Armel breaks the smoke, at least on Hesta Joe. Pings it out for the rest of his team to wrap around. Tim's with the swap. They do grab one. It's the Huskar. And that was the run down. Looking for more. Raven in the ultimate form. Nice crush from Noya. Black trying to stay at his ground with the BKB on, but it might not go his way. Already lost two. BKB TP to the low ground. There's the kill. Close one, but he will fall. Does CM's dog bark? Did I just hear a dog bark? Uh, probably. Or was that a real life dog? I, no, I, I don't think Murph is here right now. Nighttime, where is it? Shackle, it connects on the Beastmaster. Hesta Joe initiated on, dying very quickly. Does get off the Crimson Guard. There's the ultimate from CM in the tree line. Joe Beasy doing everything he can, but Tim's scouts it out, has the swap, and now the big damage is here. Sam H will go down. Radiant doing surprisingly well, but they just don't have the resources. Black finally gets caught, oh, trying to TP home. Joe Beasy, they find him, but no interrupt. Oh, that that's what I mean. Uh, that's what I'm saying, dude. There's yeah. always a number, as gods would say. Right. So that's What's double the number. Thirty-two percent. I could. Is I that could enough? go for twenty-five. I think. We'll see. Next patch. Double shackle. Good stat here. Oh, interruption. There. Yeah. Follow up now. Black in a lot of trouble. BKB on Raven. Joe Beasy again with a nice ultimate. It's doing some big damage, but Sam H will find him on the other side. Heston Joe goes down first, but they lose Tim's. Now Pingvin check trying to win this fight, but Armel with the BKB, he holds it. Black gets picked off as well. No, he's actually still alive, but his teammates, not so lucky. Two for four. A lot of little skirmishes there. Not really. Joe Beasy, is that a Glimmer Cape? No. Whoa. Let's not get too excited. Whoa, mid. Some initiation here. 
Huskar in some trouble. Broken, getting clicked hard. The BKBs are too much. Pingvin check balls. No buy back there. Joe Beasy brought down in the blink of an eye. And Slardar follows suit. Three dead for Entity just like that, Trent. What happened? They got they got. That's what happened. There's, there's a silver edge. Huskar is done. He didn't. Qualifying first, then just kicking back and watching those other teams struggle for that final slot. And you just mean think, what Jack man. is doing right now? Exactly. <laughs> man. Oh, another fight in the same spot here. No one has no better. Oh, no. He gets schoolboy. Is now the Slark pops the BKB. Did get disarmed, but they lost two immediately. Pinkman check trying to do his damage. Black just doesn't have enough. The right clicks aren't there. And GG is called. Five down. All five of TNC still alive. It's a slaughter in the mid lane, Trent. Good luck further. That's usually when you're eliminated. <laughs> you know, somebody tells us, man, he's still in. It's not actually Joe, over. It's not too late.